You may know the image of the acrobats. And the Buddha was trying to illustrate the principle that when you help yourself, you're also helping others. When you keep your mind on an even keel, then you don't lose your balance. And when you don't lose your balance, it's easier for other people to maintain their balance. That's when you go around reacting with wild mood swings. And that's what knocks not only you off balance, but knocks the people around you off balance. So think of the acrobats. Each acrobat has to look after him or herself, maintain his or her balance. And that makes it easier for the other acrobat to maintain his or her balance. But the Buddha also went on to say that when you help others, you help yourself. He didn't give an analogy, which is a shame, because this point, this point is as important as the other one. Because as you deal with other people, you're going to have to develop some good qualities in order to make sure that things go peacefully and well. You start out with goodwill and empathy. You wish the other person well, and you also empathize with their feelings. As the Thai phrase, you take their heart and you put in your heart. You think about how they would feel. That makes it a lot easier to deal with difficulties. And at the same time, you're developing some good qualities in mind. After all, goodwill, when you make it universal, is a Brahma Vihara. It's a dwelling of a Brahma. Our ordinary human goodwill is partial. We give it to some people, but not to others. But to make it a Brahma Vihara, you have to give it to everybody. And sometimes the hardest people to give it to are people right near you. In this Shaddha, you have to develop patience and equanimity, which are also perfections. Patience with other people's foibles, other people's mistakes. Equanimity about the fact that things are going to go up and down. This is the nature of human relationships. There's a lot of up and downness all the time. So as you learn how to put up with that, maintain an even keel inside, that becomes a quality of your mind. It makes it a lot easier for your mindfulness practice to develop, your concentration practice to develop, because you learn how to think on your feet in a way that you don't have to come, come and sit on the, the cushion and think things through afterwards. So think of these three, four qualities as the qualities to bring to bear on any relationship, goodwill, empathy. Patience and equanimity. The relationship will develop and you will develop as well. And it can't help but have a good impact on your training of the mind.